What is up guys, this is me, Johnny Cooper 64 here with another YouTube video, and we got some more amazing Crash Team raising news. Last month, I made a video on how a survey from PlayStation Asia had Crash Team Racing with only PS4 games, or games that came out after uh, 2010 in it, and Crash Team Racing is only on PS1, you know, it's only been released on the PlayStation 1. And, you know, it only makes sense that it's the PS4 version, like the others, you know, because, you know, there's other PS4 games in that list. It's a survey with 2010, you know, 2010 and after, you know, games that have been released. PS1 and, you know, CTR has been released back in 19-something, so it doesn't make sense. It has to be the PS4 version. So, and Insane Trilogy was there in the survey as well. So, if you guys want more details on that story, just check out my full video from last month. Link will be in the description below. But we got more news and evidence, you can say, for Crash Team Racing Remaster or new racing on the PS4. You know, still undecided on what it is. First, we have Push Square making an article saying the following. We haven't heard much from Crash Bandicoot, Insane Trilogy's developers, Vicarious Visions, for quite a while. The Activision studio has bear wait has surely been beavering away at something, of course, with many speculating that its next venture is the revival of the beloved kart racer Crash Team Racing. There have been one or two hints that a remake is on the way, but it's all rumors at the moment. A new job vacancy has, copped, has cropped out at Vicarious Visions, however, the developer is looking to bring on a multiplayer networking architect for its latest project. Realistically, this could be for almost anything, you know, but the fact that the studio is looking to hire an expert perhaps suggests something a little more sub Ten substantial than simple leaderboards perhaps the online framework for a multiplayer card racer basically what they're saying is that a new job vacancy has showed up at vicarious visions and they are looking to bring in multiplayer networking architect which is more than the simple leaderboards like we saw in insane trilogy it's you know it's actual people that get actual online multiplayer working and all that which is simply amazing and guess what back in february of this year a merchandise company that works straight from activision you know it's official and everything leaked an announcement where they confirmed a five-year plan for crash bandicoot basically five years of crash games and that they were porting the insane trilogy for the xbox and switch and pc which became true in march the month after the leak and they also said that a new crash game was releasing next year, which is in 2019. So this leads to this. Vicarious Visions have been assigned to work on Crash Bandicoot for only for five years from now, which means that they aren't adding multiplayer to, which means that they aren't adding multiplayer to another game that's not Crash. Activision assigned them the five-year plan and they have to do it which basically means that they are indeed working on the crash team racing for next year and they are getting people with multiplayer experiences so they can add online multiplayer for crash team racing the puzzle is coming closer but this is not the only evidence we have today ladies and gentlemen a few days ago, a Activision employee was being interviewed in Brazil where the interviewer asked Activision employee if they have any plans for a Crash Team Racing game. The employee responds with quote unquote, can't confirm nor deny it's happening. And we all know what that means. It's almost definitely it's going to be happening and he, you know, he didn't deny it. He didn't confirm it neither, but he didn't deny it, you know what I mean? All this evidence is coming together and the final piece is that next year is Crash Team Racing's 20th anniversary. So, you know, this whole thing makes a lot of sense for them to be releasing the game next year. Now, what people want is a new racing game with all track stream made just like Mario Kart 8. A lot of people want this, including me, which... We just, we just need a new racing game. I am sick of just remasters and remasters. I want a new Crash racing game with old tracks remade as a bonus. This gives us more new stuff than seeing old stuff. And I hope this happens and it could be very possible. You know, it could be possible that it's a new Crash racing game instead of a CTR remaster, you know. 
I am going to be doing a uh, Cold Crash Bandicoot join Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Part 2 soon. And later on this year, possibly in December, I'm going to be doing a, you know, what we want in a Crash Team Racing Remaster Part 2, you know, with Oscar again. Uh, so, you know, post your, post your comments down below on what you want for a Crash Team Racing Remaster um, so I can add it on my Part 2 video and also on, you know, how cool Crash Bandicoot joined Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, you know. I will be making Part 2s of these videos and hopefully you guys enjoy them when they come out. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Johnny Cooper 64 signing off.